Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we will learn about a new software which is Igor Pro. So uh, it has been developed by Vmatrix and uh, it is used for technical graphing and data analysis by scientists and engineers throughout the world. Igor is known for its powerful graphing capabilities which allow users to create publication quality plots and presentations. It can be used as substitute to origin. Uh, somewhere I have found uh, Igor to be more capable than origin. This is official website of uh, Igor. Uh, you can download it from here and uh, know more det details about the software. So without wasting time, uh, I will show how to use this software uh, we will start from very basic steps uh, i have some experimental data in origin files so first i will show you how to plot these data in igor uh, i have already downloaded igor uh, i have just skipped the installation part so first i will open the software opening interface uh, in order to enter data we will first go in windows and new table you can name title of this table uh, for now and uh, we will skip it just proceed to next step here i will put this uh, column data in i goes are known as waves you can rename this wave like I have made it complete. Then I will minimize it and uh, again I will create a new table and then I will just copy paste the resistance of certain experiment. Again, I would like to rename the column name or the wave name as R. Okay. So I have created two columns which are known as waves in Igor, and uh, I can just view these waves by clicking on these options and we can view this uh, interface from here again uh, now if I want to plot a graph between temperature and resistance then I have to go to new graph and here in for y waves I have to select resistance as a y axis and for x wave i have to select temperature and then i'll click on do it then i will have a graph between resistance and temperature for my certain experiment i can customize my axis like if i want to plot in in log then i have to click here same as uh, origin 
I can also change the tick options and all the other things. I, I can level the axis. So X for uh, X axis. For left axis, actually, uh, I will name it as a resistance. And for bottom axis, I'll name it as a temperature. So this is how we can plot a graph in Igor. I can save this experiment as control is or just save experiment. I can name a file experiment experiment one. Now, if I want to select all data together. From here, so I can select this data, and again I will do. I will follow the same procedure. And I will paste all these data. So I can rename these uh, waves. The first one I will choose as T zero T one. Second, I'll choose as R1. This is D2. This is T6. And this is us. Now I can plot this all data together. I will select R corresponding to T and I will add them. Second, I will uh, select R1 and corresponding, I will select T1. I will add them similarly R2, T2, R3, T1, R4, T5, and R5, T5, add R6, T6, and now I can see here now this is RT and R1, T1, R2, T2. So now I can plot this. So this is my R versus T graph for multiple experiments. So this is how we can plot, we can add and plot data in I. Thanks for watching.